Hi everyone, welcome. This is going to be part two of my collection video and we are going to take a quick peek at my mythographic series. So I have all of the mythographics. I am up to date. I have not colored in them all, which is a total shame and I'm a little sad looking through my collection because <laughs> I really do like these books. So I might have to start like a mythographic book of the month club or something um, so I can get some pages done. But I will show you the few I have got colored in. And we will go from there. So the first one I'm gonna actually hold off on. Okay. Is my books are sliding one second. Okay, Mythographic Aquatic. And I have one whip in here is all. Um I really liked the idea of this book, but it was really chaotic and I haven't dived in just yet. But I did start a buddy color and I should have tabbed my pages but now that it's summertime um, I'm kind of just jumping on when it's quiet and the kids are busy I think because this is pencil I'm gonna erase it out and try to fix it up some but this is the only whip I have in here and it's just really not blended well I feel like I can do better now so I'm gonna try to fix this one but yes that is the only page I have done in this book or started anyway this one's cute too. Um, I really liked the idea of the aquatic, but these ones are really, really busy and I have a hard time sticking with them. Um, so I need to work on that. Next is Paradise. This is my favorite, although Voyage and Wild Winter are right up there. They are very, very close. So, um, but this one I do have more colored in, so... If I can get the page done. This is Paradise. This one is by Fabiana. So they do have a couple different artists. The first one was by Joseph. This one is by Fabiana. This was when I first got my castle art pencils and I thought I liked castle arts. And then after trying them some more on different papers, I realized I really don't care for castle arts that much. But I do like this page. I think it turned out well. They did work well with Gamsol. And yeah, I really like my flowers. So that one was done 2021. Okay, and then I have this one. And if you're following my newest color along, my first one on my new channel here, um, I have a page similar to this I am working on. We are on part two. And so here is this one out of paradise that is done. I really like how it turned out pretty happy with it. That one was 2021 as well. So I guess I, I really want to do this page. I might mark this for June, actually. thought I had one more in here. Hmm. Maybe it was just two. These books, um, I start them. As you can see, as I flip through, I have lots of started. And then I never can remember how many in each book I have done. So just the two. I might try this one for June though. I'm gonna leave it out and we'll see if I can get to it. Okay, Mythographic Imagine. This is the first Mythographic I owned. I don't know if Imagine or Animals came out first, but I got these two pretty close together. These were my first ever coloring books along with Kirby, because I could buy them at Walmart. So these are where my coloring journey started. So 2019, oh my goodness, this was forever ago. And I did end up with a second copy of this book, and I'm really thinking about recoloring this page. I even tried to add some rust because I thought I knew what I was doing back then. Oh my goodness. But I really think about retrying re this page just for fun to see how far I've come. Next we have this page. This was a buddy color. Um, one was Jamie's Coloring Love. I don't love it. I feel like I should have went different now, and I'm glad I have a different copy to retry this but it is fun to look back and see like what was I thinking with a pink sky um, and my brown deer is like poorly shaded no fur so I definitely like to give these a try again um, this one I am happy with this was also a buddy color I think me and Jamie have done a lot of buddy colors out of these books um, and this is our little toad girl and she is very cute I do like how she turned out and I even tried some metallic paint on him so, as you can see, my page is starting to fall out. So, yes, very exciting. Um, I think this is one I have the most in, even though it's not exactly a favorite. Okay, this one is animals. I have nothing done. 
I colored the monkey once. I made a copy of it and I colored it and I didn't like it. I changed my mind on how I wanted to do it in the book and then I just never got to coloring it. So This is an empty book in the untouched pile. Okay, next I have Dream Garden. I've seen beautiful images done out of this book and I really, really want to try one, but I have not yet. So hard to decide where to start. That one's neat. So I have a whip. I don't love. That's probably why it's not finished. And I think the rest I just had marked a couple pages I wanted to do. Yes, I wanted to tackle that one and didn't. So yeah, not very exciting in Dream Garden either. Wild Winter is a little more exciting, so I do adore this book, and I really wanted to finish one before I jumped into another, and then I got discouraged. It's so close to done, but my book started falling apart, which was super sad. I've never had that issue. I've had a couple where the pages have come out, like up here, but never like that, so I was kind of sad, but I did get this in here so far. Not completely done, but pretty close, still working on it. Um... I am bum. I colored this on for a uh, color along on my other channel or a tutorial on the feathers, I guess. And I don't have that anymore, but still will finish this page. And I think that is all I've started in here. I have my eyes on a couple for sure. But that is the only one I've worked on. So there is my peacock out of Wild Winter. Here is Odyssey. I have not worked in Odyssey yet. Um, again, a couple that catch my eye. But I think sometimes these came out the same time as a couple other books I had my eye on and they just got put away. That's really a reason I've been trying to color them as they come in. Because if I don't, they get put on the shelf empty and that's no good. So I've been trying to slow down my buying and color them as they come in. Frozen Fantasies. I have nothing colored in here either. That ice cream page is cool. If I wasn't already coloring an ice cream on my channel, I would tackle maybe this one. This one is neat. But yes, nothing else is done in here. So that is Frozen Fantasies. I got this one expecting it to be more like Wild Winter, and it wasn't. So I don't really love this one, but... Wanderlust. We did Enchanted Castles. Imagine and Dream Garden. Okay. Making sure I got them all. It felt like I had more, but it's just because I have a couple duplicates. I also have nothing colored in Wanderlust. So if anybody has these books and wants to buddy color in one, that would be great. That would help a lot. Even though I, it does take me quite a while to color in these. I would like to get one or two colored in each book at some point, at least to start. Wanderlust. That one is by Alessandra Fusi. I'm not sure. I think that might be the only one she's done so far. Okay, and then Voyage. And I saved Voyage to last because I got two pages going on in here. Actually, I finished one. So if you watch completed pages, you will see this one twice. But here is my lion. You can see how far my coloring has come from some of the other completed pages I've showed you in this series. Um, so yeah, it's kind of neat to see, but I really like how this one turned out. If I ever get a second copy of this book, I might do this one on video. But it is not in my budget at the moment, so. And here is the one we are coloring. Very exciting. I think it's coming out pretty great so far. Need to get some more colors in there, but it's a good start. Can't believe that's took me an hour to color that so far, but Mythographic Voyage. So there is my Mythographic collection. Questions, comments, leave them down below. I purchased mine at Walmart and I pull my Walmart stickers off. I don't know why, it's just habit. I don't think I have a Walmart sticker on any of them. But um, they are also available on Amazon if you are somewhere without a Walmart. The paper is great if you are into the whole mixed media collection type thing. Which I am, which is another reason I really like these. I did. I pulled the Walmart stickers off all of them. Um, so yeah, I thank you for watching. Questions, comments, leave them down below. And I hope to see you next video.